You know, it's fun making YouTube videos. Well, until you end up having to make a video that you weren't expecting to make because, well, your car broke. Well, yes, no. All right, listen to this. And you can see right there the uh, tree is jumping up and down because I have a massive issue on the exhaust valve. Alright, I'm going to shut this down. That's that. This is one of those things where that, that guy Murphy and his, you know, silly uh, law has uh, worked its magic on my charger because I had it, the car running beautifully. I, I did the intake manifold gasket, which I had the video, it's somewhere up there. Uh, you know, found that internal leak. The plugs were co coming out beautiful and tan. Everything was going great. Went to a, a pretty good sized local car show just to kind of hang out and, you know, get a last blast, you know, Memorial Day weekend before it becomes a hundred, almost a hundred degrees every day in Florida and rainy and just yucky. Had my air conditioning working. I was, I was having a great time. And, uh, on the way back, I heard some, a little bit of clatter in the engine. I thought maybe, you know, problem with the carburetor or maybe an exhaust leak. It, it, it wasn't really bad, but it was there. And I'm like, and there was no difference in the way the car is performing. It was come to a light. It was idling fine. And, you know, driving along it was idling fine. I was doing 70 on the highway with it. It was beautiful. I mean, it was, it was nice. And I get home and starts running really rough okay so the next morning i go and start up again and it's still doing the same thing so i figured well maybe a float collapse because they do do that um it's just a thing that happens on carburetors and i'm like okay well i swap to another thermoquad which i have on the shelf of course that didn't change anything so i put the original one back on and pulled the valve covers off well I pulled the passenger side off first because that's where the noise seemed like it was happening. I, I think I had a lot of wishful thinking. So let's go take a look at this. So, all right, we got our valve train here. And let's do a simple test. Okay, push down. Doesn't move, doesn't move, doesn't move. Hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Hmm. Let's go for a closer inspection. Because that's right. It don't it something ain't right. And uh, get some light in there. Put on a light. Work with me here. Um kind of broke it in two spots you can see down there it, it, it nothing fell into the engine it was just you know the, the oil uncoiled so pretty much all the pressure got released and it split it in uh, three pieces so yeah there's that and, and the thing is I have really good oil you can see the uh, this oil on top, all the holes. That means everything's coming out of the rocker shafts very, very well. You know, it, it looks very well lubricated. Yep. Everything, you know, the adjusters to seem off, but yeah. So yeah, I broke a valve spring and uh, just cruising. 
Now, I, I have a question for everybody out there, and you can comment below on this. Has this happened to you? And is it just unique to, I think these are comp, comp cam valve springs, which I have to use again because unless there's a different one that matches my crane cam, because crane's out of business and I can't use crane uh, valve springs because, well, they don't exist anymore. So, you know, I want to hear from you about, you know, experience with the current valve springs. Uh, also, the technique I'm going to use, I'm going to try something different than using the forced air. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to try to use, well, the forced air is back up. I'm going to try to use uh, using a fine rope and pushing it in there with the cylinder, you know, with this piston at the top of the cylinder to hold the valves up. Because there isn't a lot of space in between the valves and the top of the piston when it's at top dead center. And I'm going to give that a whirl. And since it's easier than trying to push air into each cylinder. And, and I, you know, I want your uh, kind of your feedback on that. Because this is, you know, this, I'm going to be doing this in a few weeks. I have uh, some stuff I have to take care of. This is a, it's going to be a whole cool video coming up uh, in the near future. Um, it should be kind of fun. But, you know, we'll be getting to this. Because I have all summer to work on this right now. Because... Honestly, it is almost 100 degrees every day here in Florida. Yes, almost 100 every day in Florida. It's May. You know, then the rains are going to come. So I'll be doing that. I have to work on the uh, front bumper. You know, something else I need to work on, but oh well. You know, and if you uh, also have a air conditioning video coming out whenever this thing gets running because... You know, I want to show the techniques for the home guy to do air conditioning. That will be coming out in the near future or future. So if you got something from this, you know, please hit that like button. Uh, if you like old cars and want to see one man in his garage working on his old car, um, in, and actually even his, you know, not his newer old car, because that's 30-something years, 35 years old now, that E30 that's buried underneath there. Uh, subscribe. I appreciate that. Uh, and you can also share it. And as always, I, th I thank you for watching. Uh, and if you have a classic car that actually runs, unlike mine right now, take it out because you'll make someone's day, including your own. And I'll catch you down the road.